okay. It's good, but I. I want more. I want more. It's like kind of like a sparkling water, like a seltzer. Yeah, it kind of tastes like uh, somebody had rubbed like a pomegranate on the outside of the can (laughs) and like that's all the flavor it got. And also, we are also going to be rating different games that we played together. Yes. So that was definitely something, uh, especially during the pandemic that we did a lot together, Mm -hmm. was uh, start to find like couples games or like two player games that we can play. And I feel like we can share that list and kind of show people like, hey, like this is something that we can uh, all do together and you can play with your with your significant other as well. Yeah. And uh, when we first started dating, too, uh, he taught me how to play on Xbox. So I have a lot of fond memories of our early relationship, just like hanging out and gaming all day and falling through like addictive gaming cycles i guess you could yeah say. honestly so um we're gonna rank them and why don't we go over like the tier um list and kind of explain what they mean sure so the bottom of the list is not the main character so basically like the second player doesn't really do anything uh they're just kind of there to support the main character uh, it's not really yeah. fun for that person a key thing in this category is like when the second player um teleports to the first player and like you mm. just poof disappear and it's just like you're along for the ride basically and it's not really it's not really fun for both people so the cool concept needs work is like it can be a really fun game to play together however um it just needs a little more work Mm -hmm. uh to include the second character yeah i feel like a lot of indie games too can fall into cool concept needs work because sometimes it feels like not finished you'll need couples therapy which <laughs> is pretty self-explanatory that like this game is so frustrating that you're going to need to talk it out. <laughs> yeah, or you'll start yelling at each other. Yeah, get frustrated. <laughs> um, yeah. Go to bed angry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, the tier after that is nice while it lasted. So that one is kind of like, yeah, it was fun to play together. Um, it was enjoyable, but probably wouldn't play it again. Yeah, it's usually something that you'd only play once. And obviously all of these are super biased because we just prefer a certain kind of game. So something that you would play a hundred times over, it might not be something that we would play again. Um, so it's just all in our opinion. Yeah, but you're not allowed to disagree with our opinion. <laughs> anyway, and then the uh, top tier we have is Chef's Kiss. Um, this is like great multiplayer like really including the second character um yeah yeah this game is one that we've sunk many hours into uh can play over and over again uh and come back to every few months and sort of just like fall down a rabbit hole of loving the game all over again yeah absolutely all righty shall we get started Yes, let's get started. Okay, so up first we have uh, Sunhaven. Basically, it is kind of like D&D meets Stardew Valley. Um, There's a lot of like role-playing aspects and there's like questing and adventures. And I think um, for the start of this, I think that this could be cool concept needs work. Yeah, definitely. Like this game, we play D&D and spoiler love stardew so this game was perfect for us on paper but i think that the pacing was a little bit weird uh there's like multiple worlds that you can explore which kind of takes it a little bit further than stardew in terms of like characters in different towns um but i just wish it was a little bit more refined and also like the farming yeah like we love farming games but the farming was not ideal in this game Alrighty, for the next game we have animal crossing very popular (laughs) um i'm gonna put this in not the main character yeah animal crossing is gonna go in the bottom in terms of multiplayer uh with your partner so like couch co-op because you can play multiplayer obviously if you go visit other islands but in terms of just like having him play on my island and trying to build stuff together is really hard and you don't get an inventory space i love the game but i really think that they missed their opportunity a little bit in terms of multiplayer the next one we have is unravel 2 a platformer where you work together as these two little string guys and you're attached 
I just remember you were able to like swing with right. the yarn. It was pretty fun. Like solve puzzles with yeah, it. Yeah, I played this game a lot with my younger brother too over Christmas like two years ago. And he has a pretty short attention span. So, <laughs> and he loved the game. So I think that this would be really fun to try. Yeah, it was it was fun to play because it was like equal responsibility, equal like ability to do like both parts. Like you needed to work together yeah. to accomplish the task. So, wasn't it like kind of creepy too? Wasn't there like yeah. a kind of a creep element to it that was really interesting? Yeah, like a creepy atmosphere. Yeah. Now yeah. I feel bad for not finishing it, mm-hmm. but we should. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll give it another crack. Okay. Really crack on. <laughs> 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 um, next we have Haven, which ooh. Um, I definitely know where this one's going, but the, basically the concept of the game was that it was like this couple that had been space shipwrecked, stranded on like a alien planet. And like, you were trying to like go around and collect materials to like fix your ship. And like, it was kind of about their like love story too. Yeah. It was more of those games, which was like story based, Mm -hmm. which we didn't really know going into it. Yeah, I think the biggest gripe I had with this game was the combat was kind of weird, if you remember. It was, like, kind of turn-based. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and it was just very clunky and... The world, it was supposed to be open world, but, like, the world didn't really feel complete or whole, or it didn't really have a lot of stuff going on. It was very empty. Definitely cool concept needs work, I would say. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Portal I Knights. love this game. Probably <laughs> no one else has like heard of this game. Ever. Oh my god! So I guess you could say that this is sort of like reoccurring theme here. D and D meets Minecraft. Yeah, I would yeah. say so. It's been a few years since we played it because it was on Xbox. Yeah, we don't really play games on there anymore. But the concept was that like each world had like like a portal yeah. that you had to like complete like a task in like an area like kill these monsters or like find these keys i'm pretty sure and like yes yeah you had to find like the keys to unlock the portal and then like you found like the shards and then like you built like the portal and that teleported you to like the next level so that like and like each one progressively got like more and more difficult then another part of it was you were given kind of like this home planet where you could build your base and you could actually like build your own house Mm. kind of similar to minecraft but the mechanics weren't really all there with that like i remember we had a lot of trouble building yeah the building wasn't fully flushed out um that was my only complaint but i think everything else of the game like it was really nice like co-op style and like there was like quests for you to complete yeah i don't (laughs) i don't know but also at the same time once you play through the story, yeah. it kind of, like, drops off. I agree, and we haven't played it since. That's true, so, I mean, <laughs> does it even need an intro? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. This was the first <laughs> game that he taught me how to play. Yeah, this was, uh, this was a big one. And just like every other person who plays Minecraft, it makes a reappearance every yeah, few months, does. and we're just like, Right back into it. Yeah, we're currently working on a survival world where we are building a huge mountain village kind of medieval sort of thing where we're trying to build houses and shit all the way up like a gigantic mountain. Um, So if you're interested in that, you should check it out. Up next, we have a new game that we had... Not new, new, but we new to us. Yeah, is don't starve together. This <laughs> game is something. Um, I had never played it before. He had played it not very well, but not very well. So <laughs> we both kind of went in blind and not knowing what we were doing. Uh, and let's just say that. We got mad, like <laughs> mad. Not, not really so much at each other, but like at the game. Like at one point, I feel like we were like shaking with anger because so his tense. character kept dying. <laughs> like I swear, you died like so many times. Yeah, and we actually tried to streaming that, and we just like had no idea what we were doing. Um, this game's really hard, so it's a survival that's built in a way where like. The more days that you survive, the harder the game gets to survive. 
And if you don't know what you're doing on day one, like by the time you get to like day 20, when winter starts to roll around, you have no idea what you're doing. You're going to like freeze to death and the wolves come and attack you at night. And like, (laughs) it's an, it's a mess, but it's super fun to kind of like, I don't know. I wouldn't say shut your brain off. I'd say like, if you really want something to focus on and like you want a challenge to work at together, definitely definitely play this game if you like spooky stuff it's um kind of like a horror game and also there's really a lot of cool animated shorts on the characters mm-hmm. um, and the art style is really really cool absolutely um where are we gonna where are we gonna i definitely this one? said uh, i was thinking couples therapy because yeah. it at some points like you <laughs> have to turn the game off and you're like i'm so mad right now I like let's so go watch it. steven universe and just like <laughs> chill before bed yeah um we literally i don't think we've played it since like the fiasco of what are we in summer now in yeah our one, in our one world um but we've started over at least four times yeah at, at least. least four times yeah. because it, like you could just be doing so well and you could just be like thriving yeah. and then something just like just yeah. comes in and fucks your whole and world. And I feel like we tried to look on YouTube for like beginner guides, but they were so complicated because the game can get complicated, but we're just putting it in this tier because it is like pretty frustrating if you don't know what you're doing. Kind of ironic, yeah. <laughs> Up next, we have Overcooked 2. Um yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, we had uh we had gotten this game. We had never played in over like Overcooked yeah. 1 before, like the first one. And we had gotten really far and then it got really really hard and we have been stuck on the one level ever since we're talking like swinging platforms like everything oh no i think the one we were stuck on it was like you had to like drive the platform oh yeah we even enlisted our friends to help and we still couldn't beat it um so difficult however super fun super chaotic Mm -hmm. really like cooperative if you're not working together you're not gonna succeed like it takes yeah so much effort to like try to pull it off in like a fun way like yeah they keep it really fun but i will say it's super hard with just two players like when you get farther in the game i'm gonna put it in the you'll need couples therapy yeah because you will definitely at some point yell at your partner being like (laughs) (laughs) all right up next uh we have hyrule warriors age of calamity Mm -hmm. yeah but it is like kind of like a prequel to breath of the wild and this was a really fun game to play together yeah it was really fun absolutely i think that this game really thrives in its multiplayer and like its ability for like couch co-op which is kind of a rare thing nowadays Mm -hmm. like kind of gone out of style but um playing this together and like working together to like kill all the enemies in an area or like kill a boss especially like especially the timed ones oh my god yeah and i feel like it wasn't super hard like when i started playing breath of the wild like i was kind of just thrown into the game as somebody who had never played the zelda games before and i didn't know what i was doing uh it was super fun and there's so many characters that you can play with different abilities and like yeah yeah it was just kind of fun playing like the female characters like urbosa i was yep i was meaning her for most of it and it was really really fun it did keep it fresh in the way yeah. that like they offered there was a ton of characters that you could play as yeah. all with like drastically different style mm-hmm. so it was definitely like refreshing change it was yeah. nice because it like it constantly like kept you on your feet and mm-hmm. like there was a lot of aspects to the game that i think uh really went well and yeah it worked so um, i would say nice well lasted yeah because i wouldn't i'm not itching to go back and play it again like no i don't get like in three months i don't fall down a rabbit hole of like minecraft like right you know. up next we have spirit fire spirit fire spirit fairer spirit spirit fairer spirit. <laughs> this game is an indie game that people love um but we played it together and we didn't finish we got i don't even know how how far we got i loved the art style i loved the story i loved the concept as a multiplayer game, it was a little bit challenging, and I want to go back and play this game probably uh, just by myself because absolutely uh, 
I played as the main character, and you played as her cat, I believe. Yeah, the her little cat guide. Yep. Um, and the most annoying part of playing with two people is that I remember if somebody's in like a room because it's kind of like flat. Um, we were having issues when one of us was like in a building or in a space, and the other wasn't. It was like really annoying and kind of confusing with both of us in there absolutely it just wasn't really it wasn't meant to be played as like a yeah. two-player game that's how it feels to me beautiful game beautiful story yeah but looking at as like a multiplayer aspect yeah. i probably gotta list it as not the main character oh hi finn <laughs> hi this is our manager um, he's the boss. Let me kiss him. <laughs> he tried to bite my hair. <laughs> Finn says, watch our Minecraft videos. <laughs> Up next, we have the absolute goat. Yeah. Absolute W of the game. Yeah. Like the whole list here. Stardew Valley. This was another one that we had like started playing together and it just erupted during pandemic time so that's probably yes. where the obsession came from we had a lot of time inside 100 percent. this is like my favorite game of all time and my favorite uh multiplayer game of all time the only thing I wish there was was the ability to play cross platform that is the only thing I wish out of Stardew but it's a perfect game. It is perfect, and we both. And that's know not it. biased. No, it, it's perfect. And Concerned Ape is coming out with a new game, um, in the future called The Haunted Chocolatier, which we don't know a ton about, but um, we're so excited. And nobody talked to me for like a month after that game comes <laughs> out because I'll be playing it every single day. And last up, we have Pico Park, which is kind of a weird one that mm -hmm. I had found. Like, I actually think I saw it on TikTok. Oh, okay. And uh, I, like, got it on the Switch, and it is so much fun yeah. to play. Like, if if you just want to, like, turn your brain off and just have, like, the most chaotic <laughs> bullshit yeah. happen, like, yeah. <laughs> it just, it is so much fun, and it's so, like, multiplayer-friendly, yeah. like, working together or pretty much against each other to try to accomplish yeah. his task. I think he bought me this game when I was feeling really kind of down in the dumps one day and it was just so fun and like the graphics are really simple but it's really fun and you kind of have to work together to do a bunch of different little challenges. It's also super fun to play with other couples or other people. Like yes. I, th I don't know how many players you can play up to. We'll like figure that out or put it on the screen. Or yeah something um but <laughs> i remember we played it with our other couple friends and they were laughing hysterically it's also really fun if you've had a few drinks yeah and you try to like <laughs> do this game because it does get like harder and harder as you go yes i don't know i kind of want to maybe put it in nice while it lasted yeah. because like while it is fantastic it is like once you play through like yeah. the same like once you get through the levels like mm -hmm. there's not a whole lot of replayability it's yeah. just like kind of a one and done but mm -hmm. it is fun to play with people who haven't experienced yeah, it and try definitely. to let them figure it out and mm -hmm. maybe you can just be cheeky cause a little havoc yeah it's definitely a game that you can only probably play once or maybe twice with uh, your partner but with other people it's fun but it's definitely not at the level of stardew and it's not ne it's not meant to be it's just meant to be like a fun kind of like mini game yes game. absolutely yeah yeah and that's like i definitely recommend checking it out it doesn't cost very much money on the uh mm -hmm. on the nintendo store where we got it all right i'm pretty happy with this list um honestly i would recommend checking out like a lot of these like especially i know obviously minecraft and stardew mm -hmm. are like two of the biggest games right now so that you know people have definitely heard of it yeah but if you like some of these ones like portal knights or like pico park like yeah some of the weirder ones i would definitely mm -hmm. recommend checking out um it's a lot of fun especially if you're looking for like a couch co-op that you can just play together but yeah if you guys have any suggestions we did miss 
as we were recording, we realized we missed at least two that we've played before um, that maybe we'll make a part two or if you leave suggestions, we'll definitely check out uh, more of your favorite games. This is our list. You are not allowed to disagree with it <laughs> because you're on this channel. So yes, too bad. So sad. But anyway, thank you so much for checking out the video. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed our list and tune in next time when we put our cat on the camera for the <laughs> entire video. Bye. Bye. Wait, let's have Finn say bye. <gasps> bye. Oh. Bye. <laughs> oh. He didn't like that. Bye. bye.